Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have another shopping haul for you today. Um, I'm kind of impressed though because I've had like a video, a crafting video, or I do a project or a tutorial or something, and then um, a haul mixed in, and then a couple projects, a haul mixed in. So I'm starting, I think, to kind of get a, a um, good mix. I'm sorry I hadn't really talked today. Um, my son's at school already, and um, I don't really talk to anybody else when I'm here by myself, so I'm sorry my voice is kind of horrible. I hope I'm not getting a cold. Hopefully it's just a uh, raspy or something. Uh, let me show you. I was able to pick up a few more things um, from Halloween. Actually, the only things I think I picked up from Halloween were paint. Looking around, yes. So I picked up... Um, this. I don't know if anybody else has tried it. It's called the Haunted Glow Acrylic Paint. Um, it was originally $3.99 and the 66% off took it down to $1.36. So that's not bad. So I picked up two of those. Um, the black one, Cauldron Black, was actually um, $1.99. So this was just $0.68. Cents. So I've never tried um, Hobby Lobby's paints before. So I hope they're good. Um, if you've tried them, let me know in the comments. Um, and thank you everybody for the comments that I do get. I love reading comments. Love, love, love. So if you have the time after watching my video, just leave me a comment. I love it. So it makes me realize that people are actually watching the videos. Um, okay, so like I said, that was it for Halloween. Um, and then I got some Christmas stuff. My receipt, I just want to show you, let me just show you here, fold back the financial part. Um, I purchased 17 items. My total savings was $29.61 and I actually spent uh, $29.27. So that's pretty cool. I saved a little bit more than I spent. So anytime you can save over 50% is pretty cool. Okay, so I got these. Um, these were in the Christmas crafts. These were $1.99, so they were actually 99 cents. Um, these are the plastic ones. Uh, some folks on the um, Facebook group Silhouette Cameo and Portrait or something like that. Um, I'm on that Facebook group. If you just go into Facebook and you know you put to search for somebody, put in Silhouette, a bunch of groups will come up. And it's like Silhouette and Cameo and something. I can't remember. All things Silhouette something um so yeah people were taking transparencies um putting a vinyl on them and then putting them in here so i picked up two of these and i didn't want the little styrofoam balls because i just had images of them being everywhere in my craft craft room god i can't speak and i can't talk um so i picked these up i thought these would be cute and it's got like a little like fake snow this is going to be a nightmare too i think um because it's probably going to be staticky and stick to everything. But I figured I had a better chance um, with this stuff. So it says $1.47. It was actually, I don't want to have to do math, so I'm going to look at my receipt. It was actually $0.73 cents, um, for that. So I can make a couple ornaments, which is what I bought. I bought two of those. Um, and then my, I got this. Um, I saw Melody Lane get it. I hadn't seen it um, before when I was looking um, at Hobby Lobby at their paper. I hadn't seen it. And then I saw Melody get it in one of her videos. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of nice. So it's got the glitter paper. And it's the glitter's in the paper. I like this better than die cuts with a view. At this moment, I haven't cut anything with it. So I don't know... If I will like it better, that green is so pretty. The colors are just so pretty. It's a nice cream. Uh, red again, green again. So I really, um, you get two different reds, two different greens, a vanilla and like a white. So you get um, eight of each of the six colors. So that's pretty cool. That will go a long ways. So this would end up being $4.99 for this. So thanks Melody for having this in your video and pointing it out because I probably wouldn't have picked it up. I didn't really see it. And then I learned my lesson. Um, I bought that cute little snowman ribbon that I love snowmen so much and I can't find it again at Hobby Lobby. When I bought it, there was only one. So it's not like I should have bought more and I didn't. There was only one and I grabbed it. 
Um, so this I found yesterday. I hadn't seen this one before. Little penguins and they're all dressed up. There's little Santa Clauses and stuff. So I grabbed both of these because I knew better. Um, because these are just so cute. So I would have gotten a couple more. I would have gotten like four of them because they're 50 cents. So I would have gotten like four because there's what? There's four feet on here. So that's only 48 inches. That's not really a lot when you're um, making cards or tying bows or something or you know, doing scrapbook pages. That's not even four scrapbook pages because you've got to loop it around the back so it holds. So that's like three scrapbook pages and a card maybe out of each of the rolls. So I wish I could have gotten more, but it's so super cute. I love it. Um, and then these ones, I thought I'd try something new. Um, these are a dollar also, so these were 50 cents. Oh, you get six feet on each of these. I thought I'd try something a little different. I've never had any of this like tinsel or um, like the glitter ribbon. So I thought I'd try it and uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. So that's my ribbon. And then I picked up um, the liquid pearls because this, unlike the stickles, where the stickles kind of spread out, this stays where you put it um, from what I've seen from other videos. Um, it's a dimensional pearlescent paint, but I don't think it moves like the stickles do. Um, I'm trying to just see if it says on here. Oh, you can do it on fabric. It says it's great for embellishing paper and fabric. Use dimensionally from the bottle, paint it on with a brush, or dilute with water as a glaze. Drying time varies, but allow at least two to three hours. Pre-wash fabric before decorating, then wait 72 hours before washing, hand wash only. That's pretty cool. I don't know, did you guys know that? Um, the reason I really got it was I figured for like snowmen, they had the white and um, the like reindeer noses or penguins or something like that. So I figured that'd be fun. So that was $6.99 and I used my coupon on that. So it went down to $4.19. So I'd also like to get some other, the other colors that Hobby Lobby has and I can stock up on those. And then I got, there's only a couple more things guys. It's one of my shorter hauls. I got two of these. Um, the, they're the, let me turn it this way. It's called a page planner by the paper studio. They're 13 by 13. Let me take one out and show you guys. I try not to open anything until I've done a video. So I show you guys what I got first before I rip into it. So they look good. Um, they've got the two pockets here, which I like for either pictures or um, just like you're decorating stuff in here. And then it's got little pockets. So that would be good for like um, those big tall chipboards or something. And then the top has this slide protector. So that's really cool. So I got three of those. Those were $5.99 and um, these were 50% off because they were, um, storage stuff by the paper studio. So these went down to $4.99. So I figured just to give them a whirl. Um, I usually use the ones from Michael's The Recollections, the clear ones with like the little snap on the front. You snap it closed. And my most wonderful, happiest discovery was Silhouette Chipboard. Um, I didn't know they had Silhouette stuff there. And I saw this all alone sitting in the chipboard. So I don't know if this is something they're gonna start carrying all the silhouette stuff or if they're just gonna carry the silhouette chipboard. Um, I don't know. So, but I was pretty excited to see this. Um, I don't know how thick it is. Let's take a gander. It doesn't seem like it's very thick. It seems like you'd have to probably layer it uh, two or three times to get the thickness of uh, like a medium weight chipboard. So I don't know how it will be, but I was excited because I used my coupon. So instead of being $10, it was $5.99. So that's always good. Oh yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty thin. Um, it's, it's you, oh my gosh, you would probably have to use six. You'd, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you'd probably have to cut your design out. Well, maybe just four times. Is that one? Yeah. I'd say 
four, between four and six times, depending on how like you like your chipboard, how thick you like it. So, but that's all right. I mean, if you aren't cutting ginormous designs um, with the chipboard, but I wanted to try it. So I've been liking to try all the Silhouette products, um, except the vinyl um, from the groups I'm on on Facebook. It seems like the vinyl either works for you or it doesn't. So I'm not even gonna take a chance with it because a lot of people have had problems with the Silhouette vinyl. So I'm just gonna stick with um, Expressions vinyl. I love their vinyl. I love their company. I'm in no way associated with it. Um, I just happened to buy from them. They had a code online for 10% off. And I happened to buy some HTV from them, the heat transfer vinyl, um, to make the shirts, as you saw, um, the Cross Country Mom and the Cross Country Meme, which my mom's a Meme, we wear French. Um, and I had bought from them to make those shirts. And let me tell you, the shipping was super duper fast and the product was really wonderful. And they also had videos. If you hadn't done it before, I had to do it and all that stuff. So I was really super impressed with them and they've got a customer for life. I mean, I just absolutely love them. So, um, yeah, so other than that, and then I haven't tried the stamp kit. As you saw, I did get the stamp kit. I'm not really into fabric paint, so I won't try that. Um, but one thing I would like to get, I would like to get the rhinestone starter kit. That looks kind of cool. I have some ideas for t-shirts and stuff, so that'll be on my list of things to get. But I just want to try all the products, um, with a silhouette like I did, oh, sorry, like I did with the Cricut. You know, when Cricut came out with products that went with it, um, you know, I purchased them to try them out, uh, to see how they'd work. So that's my haul for today. Um, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my blog for more crafty fun and to see projects that I've completed. It's at www.crazycatladycraft.blogspot.com. Happy crafting.